What is going on my friends? So today's video is going to be all about spawn. I am going to tell you three cool stuff about spawn. Isn't it great guys because there's thunderstorm outside so it's pretty pretty cool. Thunderstorm together with a spawn video. The puzzle is complete. Now without any further ado, uh, talking about spawn. There are three new things that I got about spawn which I didn't know uh, before I made the video. The first video I did on him. I still believe he's an underwhelming diamond. In fact one of the very worst diamonds. But uh, I, for one thing, learned how you can change his basic attacks. This is thanks uh, to Bosch. I'm going to link his uh, Twitter in the description of this video. So this is the first thing I'm going to show you, how you can change his basic attacks. The second thing I want to show you, how you can use him as a nurse, so, that you can, so basically he can be the healer of your team. And the third thing I want to show you about Spawn is super weird because he's connected with his toughness. Spawn, guys, is the guy with the highest health in the game and the highest toughness in the game, which basically confirms my initial suspicion that he has been designed only to be an annoying boss. Super, super difficult to take down. But without any further ado, the first thing I want to show you is how you can change his basic attack. So, I have Cassie, so that you can give him an additional 25% uh, blockable attack, and it's important to have as much unblockable attack as possible, so that you can break the block all the time. Now, the first combo ender, just ignore it, and then start 1, 2... Uh, you can do just one, but one, two is going to be safe. Look at this. One. Oh my god, just let me hit you. Okay, I need to st hit, hit him. Okay, one, two, one, two. You see why it's important to always uh, break the blow? Because if you don't, you are in a lot of trouble. Especially if they have. Um, especially if they have power for special attacks. So, uh, and the varmint like a hat is very important so that you can snare. If you don't snare at some, some point, they can escape. But if they don't escape, just do one, two, and you are fine. It doesn't matter whether they are cornered or not. Look at this. You can do that forever. It's pretty fun. It's easy to do. On emulator, I'm doing it without any issues whatsoever. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, he cannot do anything. And I can do that forever. Look at this. So, this is the way you can use spawn. Uh, I cannot even... Look at this. I'm doing it. That's super easy. Bam. 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 So, uh, yeah, this is the way you can use Spawn if you want to change his basic attacks forever. It is quite easy. Just remember, uh, you have to do 1-2 on his second combo ender. After the game starts, just do one combo. It doesn't matter whether you do the combo ender or not. And then you just do 1-2 on the second combo. That's all you need to remember. It is that It is that easy. Probably it's going to be much better once you have it ma uh, him maxed out. But if you want some kind of a time some kind of a, I don't know, way to perform good in certain battles and you need spawn, this is the way to buy yourself some time. Now, how you can use spawn as a nurse, or in other words, your healer? The first thing is that his piece is the Lita. Look at this, 60% toughness boost. Once again, he's the guy with the highest toughness in the game, so definitely he needs that. And then heal the weakest teammate for 40% of damage dealt on special attack too. That's pretty, pretty insane. And guess what? We can also use the Bloody Mary. Do you know what the Bloody Mary does? It gives you um, not a chance. It's actually guaranteed that you're going to be healing the weakest member of your team for 20% of the damage dealt. And guess what? Those two stack. I already tested the Bloody Mary and the Lita stack. Look at this. Heal the weakest teammate for 20% of damage dealt on special 2. Heal the weakest weakened for 40% of damage dealt on special 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to take spawn in faction wars so that we can already uh, have him uh, boosted to fusion 10. We're going to lose some health on Cassie. Then we're going to bring spawn in. Oh my god, I'm not going to play against uh, Combat Cup Sonya. I'm sorry guys, I'm not doing that. Uh, okay, much better. So I will let a reptile kind of um, hurt my Cassie. Then I'm going to attack to spawn, then I'm going to special to and eventually uh, heal Cassie all the way to, I believe, to full health, I guess. Uh, I'm not saying that the current setup I have on spawn is the best, but I want to see how much he heals without having tons of critical hits, chances, stuff like this. Okay. Cool. Okay. So, uh, I, I have to wait for his poison to expire and then I'm going to attack to spawn. Let's see the healing. 3,000, 40,000, not 50,000, it's not bad at all. Okay, this is kind of okay, 60,000. If I do, I cannot even hit him, okay? Special tool. Let's see now. Let's see now the healing. 4,000, 30,000, 60,000 something. Yeah, she's full HP. That's quite cool. Oh, I didn't want to talk to him. Don't, don't, don't kill him. Oh, that damage. He resisted. Okay. Now heal Cassie Cage. 
Oh, he's going to heal himself. Oh, that's pretty cool. That was impressive heal. That was an impressive heal, not going to lie. Huh, that's pretty cool. I always expected him to heal Cassie, but I never paid attention that at this point he was actually uh, the most wounded guy on the team. So, yeah. Okay, I need to get to another special too. Unfortunately, I'm poisoned, so I don't think my heal is going to work if I'm poisoned. Uh, so I'm going to attack to... I'm going to attack to this guy. Then I'm going to attack back to Tremor. Uh, at this point, I'm not quite sure whether he's the weakest or the, the most wounded guy or it is it Cassie. I believe it's Cassie. So let's see the heal again. 6,000. 40,000. 60,000. I mean, it's okay. It's not really bad. So I guess 60,000 it is. Perfect. All right, guys. The final thing that I wanted to show you about Reptile, about Spawn, is how you can utilize toughness. Once again, he has the highest toughness in the game. The name of the game is Get Gear That Gives Toughness. Quite frankly, one of the very best pieces to give him if you have it maxed out, which is unlikely. But if you do, then the Killer Jacket is super cool because it gives toughness boost and to gain a chance to get shield after you uh, suffer from a lethal blow. Currently, what the toughness does is it reduces the uh, damage that you take as long as it's higher than the enemy attack. But there is something else. There is a talent that is a game changer. This talent is in the support section, which is called Combat Veteran. So if you, every single time when you want to utilize toughness, go for this talent. Look at this. For every 750% point of toughness, it reduces the critical damage by 1%. So in a way, uh, if they hit you, you'll be taking less damage. But if they crit, then you'll be taking close to nothing because the damage is going to be reduced by this talent even further. And this is exceptionally good. So all you need to do is to get free to play gears or any type of gears that you have that boost your toughness. Once again, the Lita is pretty cool. So I'm going to get poisoned, hopefully. No, I want to get poisoned so that he can increase the critical hit chance. Everybody can increase the critical hit chance on me. So you can see how it works. Okay. Please poison me, Reptile. He almost has poisoned me. Yes. Okay. Now, everybody will be critting, I guess. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this damage. He doesn't do anything. Look at this. Oh my god. Uh, now, granted, he's fusion 6. Uh, so, yeah, he's fusion 6. The poison is doing so much more damage than his special whatever. Look at this. Classic Reptile doing nothing. Now I'm going to do this so I can heal. It's important. So I, I don't I don't really want to kill him. Don't kill him, please. Okay, that's cool. Now, do the special one. I'm going to do special two. Don't kill me. Oh, I, I, did I resist it or whatever happened? I don't know. Okay, now start hitting me. <laughs> Look at this, he doesn't do any damage to me. Look at his 12 damage. I get his fusion 5, that's unfortunate. Just die. I won't be, I won't be hitting because I'm poisoned, but still. Yep. Do special one. Guys, classic reptile special one. Uh, uh, fusion 9 classic reptile special one. Just dealt something like... 500 damage already, I, like, it's crazy. So, the name of the game is, get your toughness high with gear, uh, and you can turn spawn into an unkillable monster. The only thing you have to be aware of is that dots will still kill you, but as long as they crit, you're safe. And guys, I was about to forget, this is the bonus for tip about spawn. I was about to forget the best sequence of events that can happen to spawn. Now, the combo ender with the guns, uh, it's very safe if you want to follow by the special one, which again involves guns. And after that, you can follow by the counter-attack that involves guns. And if you're very close to the enemy once he's down, after the counter-attack, you can proceed by doing another special one that again involves guns. So it's a lot of shooting, guys. Let me demonstrate. This is the first combo ender. Um, okay. Oh my god, no, don't... Anyways. So I'm going to do this, then I'm going to follow by special one. He's going to run to me, I'm going to counter attack him. He's going to fall on the ground. And then I'm going to do another <laughs> special one. Oh my god, that's the best sequence of events ever, guys. So much shooting. If you're a guy, a violent guy that loves a lot of shooting, this is the very best character for you. I mean, honestly, one of the very the funniest sequences ever. Now, Unfortunately, after this combo, and nothing happens, so that's uh, the, like, the boring combo. Now let's do it again. Some shooting, some shooting, she's running to me, some shooting. <laughs> she falls to the ground, finish her. There you go, a lot of shooting. 
Oh my god, his special one does no damage. <laughs> but it is fun, guys. It is super, super fun. I absolutely love that. Uh, the question is, can I do it once again? All right. Oh, Jax, don't, don't, don't get the special one. I wonder which combo ender I'm on. On the bad one, which is unfortunate. I have to kill him, otherwise he's going to kill me. Anyway, guys, uh, I hope you how uh, you like this tip, the last tip on how to use spawn if you wanna just have fun. I mean, his sequence combo ender to special one, then counter attack, then another special one. It's pretty cool. They all connect together, and it feels super, super useful, uh, super fun to play. Actually, I wouldn't say that much useful because it doesn't really deal a lot of damage. It's pretty all. All right, guys, this is going to be all for you today. Spawn is still not really one of the very best diamonds. I think a little bit better of him compared to the previous video, but still, yeah, not worth. See you next time, guys, and have an amazing rest of your day. Take care. Perfect.